Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft, I'm Stranky and this is our rooftop terrace well, our now rooftop terrace soon to be um, probably going out wider now I had an idea so we have something like this and we want to go one wider now what we can do because I do believe that is there's nothing like underneath that um, right does it go straight um, let's hold shift shift and uh, hey. Okay, that goes like that. Yeah, this one below it. So I have to see how we're going to do this. So I was thinking then this could come out four. One, two, three, four. And it would be out here. Alright, let's try something. Um, let's actually do it on this corner so we can see what we're doing from from the house so two three four It'll be something like that and I want to go um, yeah I want to go up here and shift and we can go A probably go like that Something like that. Um, and then, so that we can duplicate that over there. So let's, let's do that. One, two, three, four. and shift something like that and we're gonna have to go like this like that so bringing it out so I have to do that over there as well um, Shift, sort of. I don't know if it's like we hold on or something, but so shift. I always say out loud. I think out loud sometimes. Hope you don't mind. If you do, I'm very sorry, but I can't help it really. Well, I can try, but sometimes it's better if you think out loud when you're commentating because. After all, that's what you're doing. You're thinking out loud. Unless you are the type of person that thinks one thing and says another. Like um, a boss I used to have. Yes. So now we want number five. And do something like this. I think this is what what I want. I'm not sure. So let's uh, jump down and we'll go and have a look. Actually, we can um, I keep 
try and press shift so which is the deep bit we did and we're gonna go sploosh there we go it's quite good that beats running down the stairs okay in the last episode actually because I recorded that and um, then I did this so that goes like that and that goes out like that it kind of continues with that design doesn't it so something was running at me then it was a brick so I've got the um, how I'm positioned is I've got the microphone kind of to the uh, right side of me so the bottom right hand corner where the actual brick is is sort of half hidden by my microphone and uh, pop guard and pop pop they heard me say pop and um, yeah it's not the, uh, the best idea really but I saw this thing bouncing I thought someone was running at me for a second anyway um okay um yeah I think that's I think that's okay because it kind of continues with that design that we've got and it brings it out and it sort of continues with that look that we've got there sort of so we've got that bit and then it sort of goes more chunky and then more chunky again so yeah and then I think we can do another one straight up something like that and then we'll see but I think that I think that's almost the area I'm looking for up there now and if we do it on two levels I think we could do two levels and um, need to find a quick way up now got a quick way down and I mean we've got a lot of levels here for like storage and whatnot but um, yeah, I was thinking we could have like a two level living area um, not quite sure how to do like getting up from one to the other without it being too um, intrusive like so we can we can put the normal bricks so that's so we had one two three four so that would be so we have five in the end so one two three four five and that goes like that and then we'll do one, two, three. So that's that should be five. It's one, two, and one, two, three. So then um, get out our pickaxe and we we'll take off. Mm, no, we don't want to take off that bit. So that one goes back. I think this is what I want to do. We'll pick them up. And then for the stairs, we're going to have to put them back. So we can do. Um, I'm pressing all the wrong keys. Anyway, and, and yeah, so I was. Before I was talking about thinking out loud, and then I would get, was getting distracted again. So yeah, I was talking about Star Citizen and um, 
something that happened on Star Citizen. So, and I got distracted, and I can't remember what I got distracted with. But anyway, so I was um, playing Star Citizen, and I had I have only one ship. I've got the bog standard. Um, Aurora, I'm not sure which model it is, but it's like the entry level one when you just buy the game you get to choose an Aurora or a Mustang and I thought the Aurora's a um, all-in-one like better all-rounder kind of thing so yeah I've got the Aurora and I flew my Aurora to uh, to security port Korea and I parked it there Enough. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And I parked it at security port Korea and um, I went into the airlock to get the ballistic weapons. I mean you might not be familiar with uh, with Star Citizen, so um, yeah, I might just be talking gibberish to you. But anyway, so I parked this ship. Now, unfortunately, I can't record it. But um, if I could, I would because it's a good game. I'll, I'll be trying to. Anyway, so I go in to get the ballistic weapon because there there's um, a weapons rack and you can get a free machine gun. And I, as I go through the airlock, I hear all these explosions and from out coming from outside. I'm like, um, I think that was my ship. So that has to go like that, and he fell down, obviously. So I decide to go back out the airlock, and I go back out the airlock, and um, I go back to the pad where my where I park my ship. And as I had suspected, some nice person had uh, blown it up and parked in its place. Um, and the ship that they parked in its place is a much better ship than the Aurora. Um, I can't tell you which one it is. It's one of the ones with a number, and I'm really not good at remembering things with numbers as names and um, anyway so yeah they parked their ship in its place so um, me being me and maybe not the most um, what's the word me being slightly naive I decide to go and investigate on foot um, and obviously the person who's just blown up my ship isn't a very nice person so um, yeah it's not the best idea to go out and investigate on foot in that case but that's what I had done and I go out and there's two chaps there actually not just the, the one and they start shooting at me I've run out of um, stairs. They start shooting at me and um, do I have any more stairs? No, but I do have bricks. Okay, so what we can do is we'll probably take those That should have gone there. Okay. We'll get that like that. Okay. And anyway, so they um, they start shooting at me, and somehow, like I have, I haven't got the best reflexes. I'm not a fan of first-person shooters because it's not that I don't have good reflexes in life. I mean. I play a lot of sports and um, 
I used to do martial arts and I was I used to do judo in particular and um, I was quite good at it and I do have in life quite good reflexes like if something's falling I might get what I, I, I can like jump a room and catch something that's like falling really quickly um, one two Four, but then let's go one out so I think that's correct but somehow in um, in games I don't it's probably once I sit down I no, don't anyway so yeah my lack of reflexes and I sort of like hang around a bit and they're like shooting at me and then I see um, the little icon that like they've hit me, and I'm trying to press the button. Oh, bugger! Oh well, <laughs> got in the water. Yeah, so I tried to press the button to get the weapon, and so there's our answer. Picked up our steps at least, and that's all moving. And by accident, I think I press H, cause H you would think it would be for holster, to holster and unholster the weapon. Um, I had the idea from playing um, what do you might call it, um, the long dark. So I press H, and I give myself a health boost. So these guys obviously think they killed me by shooting me, but instead of like getting my weapon out, I've actually started healing myself. And now I want to press shift. Actually, let's, uh, let's do that. And I've healed myself, so they think they've shot me, and they haven't shot me, and I'm okay. So, um, they sort of go off, and I'm like, well, I've got like the bog standard cheap ship, and they have a nice ship, and they blew up my ship, so why don't I give theirs a try? So that's what I did. I jumped in their ship, and um, as I jumped in, they sort of they realised that I wasn't dead after all, and they started shooting at me again. Um, but by then I was in the ship, and I started the engines, and I just took off and left them there. See, now had they not blown up my Aurora, they would have been all right. So I don't know what happened to them after that. Um, but yeah, it was quite the adventure. I wish I wish I could have recorded it because it was such a fantastic moment. That in fact, I've spent almost the whole episode of Minecraft talking about Star Citizen, which probably I shouldn't have done. But anyway, so in the meantime, we've done all that. So let's do this bit here. So, I wish there was a way to do it sideways. I think it's okay ish. Um, so, let's press shift already and S. And five. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of thing. That's what's good about Star Citizen, because it's not like a first person. It's got first person shooter elements, like this bit when they drew the guns on me and I didn't know the button to press, which I have to check what the button is. Um, but it's not a first person shooter, so I'm okay with, like, portion of the game being like that because 
I like the flying of the spaceships part. So um, the bit where you actually have the gun, it's not like the whole game, and then the bit of it I can sort of, I should have left that one there. I can sort of, not exactly tolerate, um, it's okay for me, like, so we've got 15, we'll do as many of them as we can. Something like that. Whereas normally, I mean, if it was only a first person shooter in space, I wouldn't be interested if it was just that one bit because somehow they never really appealed that much to me. Um, and offhand, I can't really tell you how many of them I've played. I had the Star Wars one once, not sure which one. Um, I have Battlefront, not fond of it. I like the X-Wing parts, but there's not enough of it, whereas Star Citizen is like the other way around, that it's mostly like the flying of the spaceship. At least for now that's what it seems, then we'll have to see how they develop the game further. But I think, yeah, you could do a lot of um, things like that, so... Um, and I don't know where I was going with that now. Anyway, so shift... And that. And then two, and then that. Okay, so we can now go that way. If the corner is better than where we dug that hole. So that's, I was going to go straight back inside, which is a bit stupid. So let's go over here and we will go like that. And then we can go around like this. It's a bit weird. It's not exactly what I was originally planning. But I don't mind it. It's got a kind of a style to it. Maybe I could have brought those out all the way or something but yeah kind of like it now we have to see how we're going to make that interesting up there so um, pop pop need to find a quick way up so anyway yeah so yeah, let's uh, call this an episode because we're on the 23-ish minutes mark. I'll just run up the stairs and maybe we'll see a sunset. Oh, no, right overhead. So anyway, yeah, I've been Stranky. This has been um, S Star Citizen. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Um, hopefully I won't like take up the whole Minecraft episode talking about another game. Anyway, so yep, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching and bye bye.